Um, let me give you two seconds here. Okay, uh, just quick observation. First of all, I, I don't enjoy those games. I like to win. Um, I, I like the fact that, that we got guys who practice just as hard as the stars you're going to talk to, get a chance to play and compete. And that's what's special about college football. Um, and uh, But they're hard games to coach because there's a fine line between blowing it up and running it up and keeping it civil. And then there's also a fine line between, you know, you've got guys out there basically run out scout squads the last, you know, scout squad cards the last week. Uh, it's, those are difficult, but uh, we're going to take the win. It's good. Um, dominant from the start. I think we scored in the first three or four possessions defensively, three and out of them. Uh, three out of the first four possessions that we pressured the quarterback well, ran around very well. Um, it is what it is. It's, it's a win for us against an inferior opponent. We knew that coming in, but it sure beats the loss against an inferior opponent. So I'll answer any questions and we'll roll from there. So you liked what you saw there on both sides of the ball? Yeah, I did. I mean, I, the end of the games are always ugly. I mean, you can't tell what sport you're playing. I mean, uh, you got guys that honestly don't ever take any reps with your offense. We might as well ran their offense at the end. Uh, but uh, trying to get them lined up right, make sure you got 11 guys out there. Uh, yeah, we, we look, we look, we look, I thought we looked really good defensively in the first half. I thought we looked really good offensively in the first half. 200 kicker was fantastic today. He did a great job. All around pretty efficient, by the way. Yeah, uh, I, think, I think we went 4 4. I, I, somebody might, you know, I, I our, first, four, yeah. Yeah, our first four, and we got out 31 knock. And, uh, you know, then you just got to judge it. How long does Dante play? How much do we see? You know, you got to, you know, how much can we throw at our number two guy to find out? We, we, we need to know if, how he's going to react. Uh, uh, we played a lot of guys in the first half that you might not see center, guard, tackle. Uh, Noah Pearl got some carries. He got hurt, he got hurt a little leg uh, in the third quarter. He rolled an ankle. It sounds like he'll be fine. Uh, other than that, we came out very healthy and uh, very excited. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, Vander Batten. He, yeah. he didn't get a chance to play. How did you think he did? I, you know what? He didn't look nervous. Uh, Josh was 5 of 7 for 46 yards and a touchdown. He got his first college touchdown. He can run now. Josh can run. Uh, Should have thrown a pick, but he didn't. So he forced it through. He threw it so hard, he went through the guy. Uh, I, I like him. Um, it wasn't, you know, I, I, I like what he did against Air Force two weeks ago. You know, we didn't get to see him last week at all. But uh, as far as number two quarterbacks, he's a special athlete. So when the play breaks down, the kid can get some things done. It, it's going to be interesting to see him uh, as we move on. On to Wisconsin. On to Wisconsin, absolutely. And I was telling you, I'm excited about that. I really am. You know, I know we're going to be monster underdogs. Uh, they pistol whipped everybody they played, and it's going to be 84,000 people, none of them cheering for us. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's exciting for our kids. It's exciting for the program. And you know what? We're going to go out and figure out a way to compete our rear ends off the way we always do and let the chips fall where you never know. You never know what can happen. We got to put a uniform on, you always got a chance to win a game. Well, Tyler, it looks like you settled in pretty nicely there in the first few games with five sacks already. I mean, that's, that's getting some things done earlier. Yeah, it feels good. It's a lot better than playing scout team, that's for sure. So, obviously, you, you know, made it an easy transition. It's been an easy transition for you. You've been looking for, like, you played for quite, for quite a while. Well, the first two years being on scout team, I had to go against Tom Compton, number one offense, pretty much every day. So, it also gave me chances to work, you know, my fundamental skills and uh, yeah, no better we gotta go against them top confident really. So what about the defense here in the first uh, first two games? Play tough, we're playing a lot faster and a lot more clean, we're making tackles, we've been a lot more explosive and we're consistent. We're not, you know, giving them a big play here and then leading to, you know, easy touchdown where three and out, you know, as much as we possibly can. Uh, how hard is it to play a game like this, you know, where you're up big right away within a couple minutes? And you know you have three and a half quarters to go, but it's tough because once you get up a little bit by three touchdowns like we did in the first quarter, it's just it's so easy to just shut down and just go through the motions. But my coaches, you know, stay on top of us, and even the coordinator, Coach Fry, really my position coach, he always stays on top of the line. He always keeps our motor going. He said, Phil knows the line. You know, he goes, you'll see in the first half, you guys going balls to the walls. The second half, you just you know alligating around. You know, it's going to show. And he goes, that's not the kind of type of defense we are. What's it going to be like next week heading to Camp Randall to play? I'm going to hit him in the mouth and we'll see what happens. I mean, like I said, when it comes down to it, it's just football. You know, you know, positive, you know miracles can happen. Sure. What, but what were you trying to establish today? What did you want to see out of your offense, especially in that first half there? I wanted us to be able to just move the ball, first of all. Um, our offensive line played incredible. 
and they're getting better each week. And with them getting better, that means the backs and running backs and, and Dante are able to move more fluently, and it just makes the game a lot smoother. So I want to see the offensive line get better, and, and they played a great game. Um, I wanted to see the running backs go off like they did, which was awesome. And you know, in a game like this, all you can all you can do is try to improve your skills and try to you know build that team camaraderie a little bit. And that's what we did. Well, you hit him in the mouth right away. I mean, like you said, you came out and scored a touchdown your first four times. So didn't get much better than that. No, it doesn't. Uh, we we really were were working smooth on offense and we played well. You know, you can't ask for anything more than more than four touchdowns off the bat. And so hopefully, we can pull some off like that next week. Looking forward to that. I am. I'm so excited. It's going to be an incredible experience. Backs against the wall again, but you know we're used to it, and hopefully we can do something incredible. Yeah, with the two games you just had and the game you have coming up, did you guys kind of need maybe a little bit of a, a breather here this week? Um, I don't think we needed a breather. It was nice to to not to go all out for four quarters. Um, that was nice to get the other guys in and get them experience. I think that was huge for this whole team. Um, but we're ready to go. I, I can't even describe you how excited we all are to, to, to play Wisconsin to the number five, eight team in the country. It's, it's going to be fantastic going to that stadium. And like Todd said, we're going to knock them in the mouth and, and see how they react.